If you are looking to invest or trade cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, and others, you should watch this video. I have compiled a list of some of the basic terms you're likely to come across when you get into crypto. But first, what is cryptocurrency? A cryptocurrency, cryptocurrency, or crypto is a digital asset designed to work as a medium of exchange wherein individual coin ownership records are stored in a ledger existing in a form of a computerized database using strong cryptography to secure transaction records, to control the creation of additional coins, and to verify the transfer of coin ownership. 1. Altcoin Altcoins are cryptocurrencies other than Bitcoin. They share characteristics with Bitcoin but are also different from them in other ways. It's the term is commonly used to describe any cryptocurrency other than Bitcoin. Litecoin, Udge, Ripple, Polkadot are examples of altcoins. Some altcoins use a different consensus mechanism to produce blocks or validate transactions hence the name, which means alternative to Bitcoin. 2. ATH ATH is short for all-time high, and is defined as the highest value an investment has ever reached in its history. Whenever a cryptocurrency price passes its ATH, things can get crazy. As of the time of making this video, Bitcoin all-time high is $64,829.14. 3. Smart Contract a smart contract is a computer program or a transaction protocol which is intended to automatically execute, control or document legally relevant events and actions according to the terms of a contract or an agreement. For example, a smart contract could be programmed to release funds for someone's birthday each year. It could also be programmed to release payment once someone confirms receipt of delivered goods. It could be used to enforce particular rights for holders of digital assets. 4. Fiat currency Fiat money is a government-issued currency that is not backed by a commodity such as gold. Fiat money gives central banks greater control over the economy because they can control how much money is printed. Most modern paper currencies, such as the US dollar, are fiat currencies. Fiat money does not have intrinsic value and does not have use value. It has value only because a government maintains its value, or because parties engaging in exchange agree on its value. Five. Initial Coin Offering An initial coin offering, ICO, is a type of capital-raising activity in the cryptocurrency and blockchain environment. It is often a form of crowdfunding, however a private eco which does not seek public investment is also possible. In an eco, a quantity of cryptocurrency is sold in the form of tokens, coins, to speculators or investors, in exchange for legal tender or other, generally established and more stable, Cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin or Ethereum. The tokens are promoted as future functional units of currency if or when the ECO's funding goal is met and the project successfully launches. The main advantage of ECOs is that they remove intermediaries from the capital raising process and create direct connections between the company and investors. In addition, the interests of both parties are aligned. 6. HODL HODL is a term commonly used by cryptocurrency investors that refuse to sell their cryptocurrency regardless of the price increasing or decreasing. It is more frequently used during a bear market when people refuse to sell their coins despite the price drop. HODL was later retrofitted to be an acronym, backronym, for hold on for dear life and refers to not selling, even during strong market volatility and poor market performance. 7. Bear Market What is a bear market? A bear market is when a market experiences prolonged price declines. It typically describes a condition in which securities prices fall 20% or more from recent highs amid widespread pessimism and negative investor sentiment. 8. Bull Market The bull market is the opposite of the bear market. As you can tell, it is a situation where the price of a certain cryptocurrency increases rapidly and consistently. Such situations are met with optimism and hope that the upward move would continue. 9. De. Fi. Short for decentralized finance, DeFi is an umbrella term for a variety of applications and projects in the public blockchain space geared toward disrupting the traditional finance world. Inspired by blockchain technology, DeFi is referred to as financial applications built on blockchain technologies. 10. Mining. 
Mining is a process that handles the verification of transactions made on the blockchain, and also the creation of new coins. People who perform these tasks are miners and are given a fractional amount of cryptocurrency as a reward for successful verification. 11. Noob Newbie, noob, noob, or knob is a slang term for a novice or newcomer, or somebody inexperienced in a profession or activity. And this are the particular people I am making this video for. 12. Peer-to-peer in financial technology, the term peer-to-peer -peer usually refers to the exchange of cryptocurrencies or digital assets via a distributed network. A peer-to-peer -peer platform allows buyers and sellers to execute trades without the need for intermediaries. 13. Stablecoins Stablecoins are cryptocurrencies that attempt to peg their market value to some external reference. Stablecoins may be pegged to a currency like the US dollar or to a commodity's price such as gold. Examples include USD Tether, USDT, True USD, TUSD, Paxos Standard, PAX, USD Coin, USDC, and Binance USD, BUSD. I hope found this video useful and if you did please hit the like button and also share. If you're new here then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications. If you have any question feel free to drop it in the comment section.